Hey folks, I've got a brand new 3D scanner from Revopoint here. This is called the Inspire, and they say it's designed to be sort of an entry-level scanner for medium-sized objects. Um, I'm going to take on a little project and show you how it goes. Now this is a paper mache mask that I made a few years ago, inspired by Glenn Strange's portrayal of the Frankenstein monster, and the equally iconic Don Post mask sculpted by Pat Newman in the 60s. I thought that Glenn Strange's heavily textured face would lend itself really well to my paper towels dipped in house paint technique. And uh, it turned out pretty fun, so I ended up making a couple more of different monsters. And I think some of them turned out better than others, but part of the fun of it is that you don't really know what you're gonna get until it's done. And I actually have a video on how I make these, so I'll put a little link to that up in the top there. Now, I made this just for myself, but a few people have asked me over the years if they could get a copy of it. And the tricky thing there is that because this is a one-off piece, um, there was no mold to begin with, and now it's got hair glued onto it. So if I were to try to mold this, I'd have to ruin the hair one way or another, and I just don't really want to. Um, but if I 3D scan it, I don't even have to touch it. So that's what we're gonna do. I think what they're going for with the Inspire is sort of a less expensive version of their Pop series of scanners from Revopoint. Although I don't know what the actual price point of this is. Its ideal object size is kind of in the same range as what the pop scanners do, which is, you know, roughly the size of a head, I would say. But it doesn't capture quite as fine of detail as the pop 3. I think one of the biggest changes that this scanner brings is actually in the RevoScan software. And that's not actually limited to just this scanner. There's a new one-click edit function that will let you go through all the steps of processing the scan at once, so you don't have to sit there and babysit the computer while it processes through each step. I'm told this feature will use all of the settings from the last time that you manually processed a scan, so you should be able to go through the manual process once and then use the one-click edit function after that if you're happy with the results that you're getting. The only settings that I typically mess with in all of this is the point distance, which I drop as low as possible, and the mesh level, which I put as high as possible, which should theoretically give me the best detail um, as far as having many points very close together. And I'm sure that you could get improved results through trial and error on the other settings, but the defaults have seemed to produce decent enough results for me. I think it's clear that this is not the finest level of detail, but it is pretty accurate. I didn't have any problem maintaining tracking during the scan, which is great, and the process was very easy. The hair didn't scan very well because it's black, and most of these scanners are gonna have trouble seeing black. Um, so that's not a surprise. You could use a scanning spray or powder to make it easier to see, but I'm just gonna re-sculpt the hair on this one for the digital version. I'm going to print this out as a magnet, about three inches tall, so I wanna make sure the hair reads really well at that scale. And I'm also increasing the contrast on this whole scan to make the details read more clearly. I'll 3D print this on one of my resin printers. And here is the mini Frankenstein mask. I'm going to mold this master print and then cast up the final magnets and paint them in fun colors like some of these ones that I've done for my other masks. The Inspire scanner did a pretty good job. I'd say it performed as advertised. It's not perfect, but it was easy to use and it produced an accurate scan overall. There's gonna be a link in the description for more info on this from Revopoint. I believe it's gonna be on Kickstarter about when this video comes out. And now I've gotta get back to my other projects. Halloween is coming up and I have a whole bunch of animatronic Raven kits to put together. So I will see you soon.